Hey guys, I hope everyone out there is safe and doing well. Thank you so much for tuning in. So I got the pie maker. I know I'm probably late to the trend, but I really don't care. Uh, there's no time with me. If I want something, I'll get it and do it. Um, I got this at Home Goods for $12.99. I did a Home Goods haul if you want to go check that out. So that was a couple of weeks ago, I believe, but I haven't had time. So I already had everything prepped. I went to Walmart and got the no sugar added because I wanted to add my own. I already got the um, Dash pie maker already heating up. I cleaned it uh, with a little tiny bit of soap and hot water. I just cleaned it here. I did don't submerge these in in water, you guys. Okay, um, just take a paper towel, clean it off with water, uh, rinse it off a little bit. Keep it away from the sink. It's heating up right now. I got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch one. I also have my Monk Fruit Sweetener. Um, I got this Ready to Bake Pie Crust. You get two. They're at Walmart. I laid it out already. I didn't have a sheet, so I, I used my, my tray. I have a big tray, and I already cut everything out. So um, with this thing here, I cut the bottom and the top. I only uh, did one of each for right now because if this doesn't work out and I don't like it then I'm just gonna use the rest of the pie crust and the filling to make little pie empanadas and pop them in my um, Kasori air fryer to bake um, if if this doesn't work out for me and I don't like it because I've seen some videos that um, the pie crust doesn't cook all the way and if you try to leave it on for longer it just burns but I got a little trick for that I'll see you guys in a second Okay, you guys, so I opened up this stuff here. It's sweet, but not very sweet. If you get the no sugar added, it's less calories and whatnot. So I added just a pinch of this, this, and this right here. The one that was the regular one had too many calories, too many carbs, too many sugar. So I just wanted to add my own stuff, okay? So I put a little bit of the pie filling in a bowl and I chopped up the uh, apples to like a half an inch, okay? And I just kept mixing until everything dissolved. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the pie crust. I watched so many videos on this, you guys, I've never, I'm used to making one in the oven, so they said to fold these. It's sizzling a little bit. Gotta work really fast. Okay. The dough is easier to work with if you um, let it sit at room temperature. Okay, so I'm gonna fill that up. See, the secret to these pies, you guys, is you gotta chop down this fruit and don't fill it up all the way because we want the crust to cook. Now I'm going to add the top. I already cut out some vents. Cute little vents there. They're not perfect, but we're going to do that. And we're going to put it down. Press, press, press. Oh, you guys, that's hot. And I'll come back when it's done. Okay, you guys. Here's my first one. I'm making another one. Okay, I'm letting it cool before I cut into it. It really helps to make slits on the top, you guys, so it can vent. Looks good, looks good. Let me show you something. You see these little uh, foil pans that you get from buying those 50 cent pies? Watch this. They fit perfectly. Well, the bottom does, but... Okay. And I'll show you why I did that in a minute. But I just wanted to update you. There's my first one. And we're going to see how the second one turns out. This one took about 15 minutes. I kid you not. The bottom was cooked. This was cooked. It's not burnt as bad, but that's okay. Um, but the top was still raw, and I'm like, no, we're not going to have that. But I have a solution for that after this um, video. Okay, you guys, before I forget a couple of things. This is the one that I bought. Y'all know where it's from, Walmart. Uh, they have the regular ones, but like I said, they're too many calories. So I opted for the uh, no sugar added so I can add my own. Okay, this is pretty good, I like it. It's it's nice and it, it's not too sh uh, sweet. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet, okay? 
yeah, 70%. Yeah, y'all should look at the calories for the uh, for the original. I got the no sugar added um, cherry as well. That'll be in a future video. That's that. Yeah, way, way um, less than the original. Here's the ingredients. I would buy this again. I really liked it. The apples were not too hard. They weren't too soft. Uh, just the right, right amount of apples and, and sauce and everything. It was good. I would buy this again, definitely. Um, here's how I store it because I, um, one pie crust, the Great Value pie crust gave me about three, two pies and a pie empanada. You'll see in a minute what I mean. So you could take all the air out, store it in a quart or smaller. Um, this is the rest. This is a quart storage bag that I got from the Dollar Tree. I, I bought a box. Okay, and I took all the air out and now I'm going to store it in the freezer. I just took this out of my um, air fryer, but I put it on bake. The rest of the pie crust, um, I crumb, I, uh, you know, crumbled it up, flattened it out, and made. And it was it wasn't enough for a, a dash pie to make the top and the bottom, so I just flattened it out to a big circle. Put some more pie filling and put some butter on there. I didn't want to crack an egg just for this. So that's going to be my dessert for later on. Okay, you guys, it was one pie crust was able to give me uh, two full pies and of course the empanada, but uh, two full pies. Okay, um, here's another tip. Try to roll the, the pie crust a little bit flatter. That way it doesn't take so long to cook. Okay. Uh, I have a tip for you guys, but let's see. I've been letting these cool. Uh, each pie took about 15 minutes. And remember, the the makers turn on and off, okay? But it took me 15 minutes. You might be like, yeah, right. Yeah, it did. I timed every one of them. Because the bottom would cook, the, the, the crust here would cook, but not the top, okay? Um, so this one has not so much of a burnt crust. This one does. Uh, this one was the last one. And here's another tip. Don't, when you're making pies, don't press down because pressing down will cause it to caramelize and then cause it to burn. So don't press down like you see most people in the video where they put the top on, the top crust on, and then they press it to make it sizzle. Don't do that. I did that with the first one and it gave me a burnt crust. That's really burnt, see that? I don't like that. The second one, I just put the top on and it gave me a nice golden crust, not as burnt. Okay, so let's dig into one. Here's another tip before I forget. Save these, like I said, from uh, those little pies that you buy at the store for like 50 cents. I save all of them and I use them for dipping sauces and stuff or like, um, black beans i love black beans but i don't like the juice touching my food yeah i'm weird like that so i'll fill this up i'll heat them up i'll fill this up and then i got my black beans or whatever beans you like so anyway um you could put it in here if your pie maker does not um cook the crust all the way put it in one of these little pans and put it in your air fryer for like five minutes okay so save that let's take let's see Okay, I'm a little nervous. It's nice and flaky. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Uh, this has been cooling for 20 minutes. Mmm. Mmm. I love that. Oh my gosh, so flaky. Oh, I love this. Mm. I don't like that that's burnt, so don't press that when you put the top on. So good. I like that. Oh, that's so good. It hits you afterwards, you know what I'm saying? Oh, wow. 
If you don't want to do 15 minutes in the maker, then do six, seven minutes and take that extra step to put it in one of these like little foil pans and put it in your air fryer on bake for like another five, six minutes because too much in the maker will dry out the crust, but this is perfect. Once it starts getting cold, it'll taste even better. But um, me mixing in the cinnamon toast crunch, the cinnamon and the monk fruit sweetener made the filling taste even better. Okay, so this one I'm going to let cool. I'm going to have that tomorrow with a little bit of whipped cream. This one I'm going to let cool because I want the filling to be cold. And I'm going to have that as my dessert. I really like this. Next week, you guys, I'm going to try the little egg quiches and see how that goes. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next video. Do I like it? Yeah, I'm glad that I um, I got it on sale for $12.99. I'm glad that I did not get the pie maker when it first came out last year. They were like between $20 and $30. So I'm glad I didn't get it for that much. I'm going to experiment more. Uh, sorry this video was long, but if you have any questions, please let me know. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.